folks do you know what is the object oriented way of becoming wealthy it is through inheritance funny isn't it hello everybody welcome to people soft channel where we teach people soft concepts in everyday language my name is siva koya and today's topic as you know is inheritance today's agenda i will start with what is inheritance then we will do a short hands on exercise and finally i will show you how inheritance is applied in real life scenarios all right without any delay let's get started let's start with what is inheritance just like how we inherit properties from our parents and grandparents we use inheritance to inherit methods and properties from another class why do we need to do that just like how we do not need to start from scratch if you inherited properties from your parents or grandparents we can leverage existing code and promote code reusability at the same time extending the current functionality with less cost let's do a quick hands on exercise so that you will understand what i am talking about what we have here is a simple people soft page where user can input two numbers after user clicks on the calculate button system adds the two values and displays the result here if i go behind the scenes this is a simple people soft page that i created and the logic for the calculation is written in application class and the class we have defined here in application package here is our addition calculator class inside it we have a method which does the calculation for us we went through the same exercise in the episode 1 of this series so i am not going to spend much time here let's navigate to people code event where we invoke our application class logic before we can invoke our application class we have to import our application class into our people code event here we are declaring the object that we plan to create from our class and finally we are creating our object using create keyword and finally we are going to call the addition method which does the calculation for us and we are displaying the result using this field let's assume for a second this is a delivered functionality and user came up with a new requirement to add subtraction to the existing functionality this is when inheritance will come into play we can create a brand new application class and use the delivered application class as a base and we can extend the functionality what are we waiting for let's go ahead and do that let's navigate to the application package ideally speaking you have to create a new custom application package but for this demonstration let's go ahead and create an additional class here in this sub package i will insert a new application class and let's name this as basic calculator let's open our application class our plan is to extend the delivered addition calculator class to enhance our functionality so before we can use the delivered application class we have to import that application class here let's go ahead and import our delivered application class all right so let's go ahead and create our custom application class let's type our class name here since we are going to extend our delivered class i'm going to use the keyword extends which denotes inheritance and here we should provide the path of application class that we plan to extend i will go ahead and end the class and now let's create a new method for our custom functionality method subtraction for subtraction i'm going to use the same signature that we used for addition let me paste that here since the logic is pretty straightforward let me paste the logic for subtraction when we extend one class from another app class one major requirement is the subclass or the derived class must have a constructor in the constructor method we have to invoke the parent app class let's go ahead and do that we already discussed 
about constructor method in my previous episode in this series. As you know, constructor method will have the same name as our app class and it will not return any values. In our specific case, no input parameters are required. All right, this is our constructor class. Let's go ahead and implement our constructor class. The next step in the process is, as I mentioned before, we have to invoke the application class that we plan to extend using percentage super keyword. Let me paste the line of code. Using this line of code, you are bringing parent app class into the buffer of our subclass. By doing this, we got access to the properties and methods of our parent class. I will go ahead and save our application class. And it was saved successfully. Now let's navigate back to calculate button field change event and make changes to refer our new application class. I will navigate back to our button field change event. Remember we have created brand new application class basic calculator. I will go ahead and replace existing addition calculator class. Let's go ahead and save our changes. Just to let you know, if we look at our custom application class, you don't see any addition method. It will be inherited from our parent application class. One other important thing, if you want to change the way addition method is implemented in parent class, you can create a new method here in subclass with the same name and change the way the logic is implemented. This is called method overriding. This is very important to know. You will understand this better when I show you real world examples in PeopleSoft. For now, let's go ahead and test our changes. I am back on our page. Let's go ahead and test our changes. As you can see, the program is working as expected with our new custom application class. Now let's go ahead and change the method to subtraction, which is the new method that we defined in our new application class. I'll go ahead, save our changes. Let me refresh our page. Bingo, as you can see, our new application class now can do both addition and subtraction. That's the end of the demo guys. I hope you learned something new with this demo. Now, let me show you some real life examples where inheritance is implemented in PeopleSoft. What you see on the screen is called Work Center, where end user can click on a link to get to the data that they plan to work on. These links are called work links. This is the page where each one of those work links are defined. If I click on define, here we can see the application class where the logic is implemented. I open the application package and class defined in the work link configuration page. The framework for implementing work links is already delivered by Oracle using this application class. All we are doing is we are extending the application class and updating the properties of the parent class so that each work link is unique and will be populated based on the view that we update here. As you already know, by extending this app class, we already have access to the properties and methods of this parent class and we are updating that in our subclass. That's how each work link is implemented by leveraging inheritance. Here is another example. If you want to change the way delivered workflow is configured through approval workflow engine, or you want to extend the delivered approval functionality, all we need to do is like you see here on the screen, we have to extend the delivered approval framework delivered in the form of app class. We are extending it and we want to implement our own approval workflow methods using this subclass. All we need to do is provide this new subclass in approval configuration page in place of delivered application class. I just want to give you some idea. I don't want to get into details, but that's how inheritance can be leveraged in real life scenarios.